let's start the most interesting part of the budget the details of the budget okay so under ke telsu like i said this is the budget so if you are discussing now so it would be for the year 2022 23 2022 23 okay so 2022 23 year lo how much would be the government's expenditure how much would be the government's revenue okay so total expenditure of the government is estimated to be 39 lakh crores idantha lakh crores so 39 lakh crores 44909 crores so in short form ga the government the government budgeted expenditure is 34 lakh crores estimated okay so 34 lakh crores annadi government has estimated that its expenditure would be 39 lakh crores nearly so obvious ga revenue kuda when the expenditure is 39 lakh crores the revenue also should be 39 lakh crores so next table lo we'll see whether it is 39 lakh crores or not so i chudan the total receipts is 22 lakh crores adendi what we have said the receipt should be equal to expenditure right but expenditure is 34 lakh crores and your receipts is 22 lakh crores there is a shortfall so where does the government gets that money from is a matter of discussion okay so before going into that discussion so budget when the finance minister presents it into the parliament for the year 2022-23 the budget is presented in such a manner that the finance minister specifies what the expenditure would be what receipts would be okay so 39 lakh crores edaithe undo 2022-23 ki announce chesaru at the same time finance minister also gives you the revised figures for the budget 2021-22 revised figures for 2021 22 what does that mean ante say for example ippudu idi 2023 24 budget ankonnu ante ival date 1 3 2023 so 2023 date aithe nenu em chestanu budget a year ki isthanu 22 to 22 23 20 24 ki okay so revised figures mundi year ki isthan what does that mean like i said these are estimations but after 6 months or after 3 months the government when the government gets data it modifies its figures it modifies its figures and it changes the figures accordingly peragadamo tagadamo so after a period of 6 months say for example after a period of 2 months additional to 6 months ventane manaki ivala date aipothe ival data vacche the government ki it will nearly take some 2 to 3 months for getting the exact numbers okay so for example ivala date 1 3 2022 okay so 6 months expenditure ayyaka ante kach pettaka revenue vachaka 6 months ante 1 9 2022 and again it will take two more months to correlate the data collect the data so first november ki you will have a exact figure okay how much the budgeted expenditure or how much the budgeted revenue that we have estimated previously is right okay so din ki plus or minus add chesi oka revised figure istar ఒక రివైజ్డ్ ఫిగర్ ఓకే సో సిన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్రెడీ నవంబర్ మళ్ళీ ఫిబ్రవరిలో అగైన్ బడ్జెట్ వస్తుంది కాబట్టి వెన్ ద బడ్జెట్ ఈస్ అనౌన్స్డ్ ఫర్ ది ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ద రివైజ్డ్ ఫిగర్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో గివెన్ సో టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ట్వంటీ త్రీ బడ్జెట్ అనౌన్స్ చేసినప్పుడు ముందు ఇయర్కి దేల్ బి గివింగ్ యూ ద రివైజ్డ్ ఫిగర్స్ ఫర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ట్వంటీ త్రీ so for example for next year 
when the budget is presented for the year 2023-24 we would be getting revised figures for 2022-23 and we have estimated 39 lakh crores we will be getting an idea. Okay? Antakanna Mundi We will have the exact values. Again, after six months, we will have the original values. Yanta expected So actuals 2020-21 Koda government 2022-23 year budget lo 2020-21 actual figures koda isthundi actual figures okay ikkada chudandi budgeted 2020-21 ki initial ga government has expected an expenditure of 39 34 lakh crores but revised figures suggest that the expenditure would be 37 lakh crores. So budget has increased. For example, 2021-22 budget announced says no revenue or sorry expenditure is expected to be 29 lakh crores. But in the 31 lakh crores. Okay. So budgeted 2022-23 year low. Announce says we will be getting the revised figures for 2020-21-22 as well as the actual figures for 2020-21. Okay, so there can be an MCQ asked like for example, when the budget is introduced in the year 2025-26, in the year 2025-26, what all the figures would be getting options revised estimates for 2022-23 actual estimates for 2021-22 revised figures for 2024-25 and actual figures for 2023-2024 option a one is true option b two b is true second option is true option c c and d are true option d all the above okay so alaga maniki questions anna the frame chayachu okay so i think you have understood what budget estimates mean so when they say budget estimates it mean it is an estimate Revised estimates and revised figures. Actual figures and actual values. Okay. So, one more MCQ. According to the Union Budget 2022-23, total expenditure in 2022-23 is estimated at 34.83 lakh crore, 37 lakh crore, 39 lakh crore, 48 lakh crore, 84 lakh crore. Answer is? And then, question is, estimated total expenditure for 22-23. Answer is? 39 lakh crore. This is the total expenditure. 39 lakh crore so answer is 39 lakh crore okay next so manam brief ga we have discussed okay brief ga we have discussed what expenditure is for the government okay and what the government's uh, total estimated budget is okay so okay in detail we'll discuss what does the types let the what are the types of expenditure and what are the types of receipts for the government okay so the government expenditure it is divided into two types. 
revenue expenditure and capital expenditure out of the total expenditure the expenditure is divided into two types revenue expenditure and capital expenditure revenue expenditure ante enti ante this, this is the expenditure which is used for day to day operations in general okay capital expenditure ante this is the expenditure which is generally invested on long term assets okay adi kuda ante ento cheptanu so first revenue expenditure ante enti expenditure lo two types revenue expenditure and capital expenditure revenue expenditure ante these are the expenditures which are used for daily functioning of the government ante for example salaries salaries administrative expenditure of the government schemes which the government implements loans edaithe teeskundo vaati meed interest payments etc so revenue expenditure lo salaries administration expenditure schemes edaithe implement chestundo dan kachu pettina expenditure and loans teeskunna vaatiki interest payments we are not talking about the complete repayment of the loan if the time is finished for a particular loan ante it is matured okay we are just talking about the interest which the central government pays for the loans it has taken for the ongoing loans so when you add all these expenditures the central government is expecting that the revenue expenditure would be 31 lakh crores 31 lakh crores okay what does capital expenditure mean capital expenditure is the expenditure that the central government generally does on long term assets ante for example if the government wants to build a bridge if the government wants to buy cars for its administration purpose or if the government wants to build industries on its own since these are all capital assets ante these are long term assets the expenditure which is done on these long term assets would be classified as capital expenditure okay so capital expenditure lo the government is expecting that it would be spending around 7.5 lakh crores on capital expenditure so capital expenditure lo em em cheppanu assets okay second loans paid ante complete principal amount say for example if i borrowed 10000 rupees from a bank i would be paying an interest of 100 rupees every month for a certain period when that period is completed i have to pay the government or pay the bank total 10000 rupees that i have taken similarly when the government repays the amount which it has taken that expenditure is calculated under cal capital expenditure but when the government pays the interest it is calculated on the revenue expenditure okay so capital expenditure is estimated to be 7 lakh 50000 crores 7 lakh 50000 crores so when you add both these values you should get the total expenditure so revenue expenditure plus capital expenditure gives you the total expenditure capital expenditure of which so capital expenditure is again divided into two parts capital outlay and loans and advances similarly i mean when the government itself takes loans from big banks similarly the government can also give loans to some other parties say for example government can give a loan to the state of telangana okay so that is an expenditure for the central government 
since that is an expenditure for the central government it is under capital expenditure so loans and advances loans continue this the principal amount like i said and the advances which is it which is it giving to the states or companies or any other entity are under capital expenditure so this seven lakh fifty thousand crores low six lakhs is for capital outlay which means for creating assets and one lakh forty thousand crores is estimated to used for repayment of loan completely and also the advances to few parties so indian budget for the year 2022-23 anta ante 39 lakh crores andulo revenue expenditure anta 31 lakh crores capital expenditure anta 7.5 lakh crores capital outlay anta 6.1 lakh crores loans and advances anta 1.4 lakh crores okay so ippudu varaku we have discussed what budget is okay the process of budget like i said receipt should be equal to expenditure so expenditure value aina receipts value aina budget value okate avutundi so we have discussed types of expenditure revenue expenditure and capital expenditure similarly we will be also discussing revenue receipts and capital receipts so revenue receipts again like i said receipts is divided into two types revenue receipts and capital receipts same logic expenditure lone lage revenue receipts every year again and again ostu unte capital receipts one time receipts ok sari ga double ostai for the government so revenue receipts em avutundi government ki vache double continuous ga taxes income tax corporate tax sales tax gst etc capital receipts so government is getting receipts large amount lo so loans which are taken by the government or grants which the government gets what is the difference between grant and loan ante grants are the amounts which a person or an entity gives to the other saying that there is no need for that particular amount to be returned similarly loans ante enti the amount which we borrow we borrow ante we will be paying it back say for example world bank when it says that i will give 1 lakh rupees to india as a grant ante 1 lakh which is given to india edaithe 1 lakh teeskunnaro there is no need to repay it back to the world bank but when world bank says i am giving 5 lakh rupees loan to india that means ee 5 lakh rupees ki the government would be paying an interest and also it would be repaying back the 5 lakh rupees so revenue receipts enti taxes non taxes etc which will be discussing in detail and capital receipts which are generally loans and grants which would be getting for the government okay so receipts ante loans vastunnavi or when the government has given loan to a particular state or an entity before if the complete amount is repaid okay if the complete loan is repaid and a principal amount that would be capital receipt if the central government has given a loan previously if a particular interest is paid to the government then it is under revenue receipts meek ardham ayind anukuntunanu akkada kuda cheppanu loan manam teeskunte manam ante ippudu nen central government aithe nen loan teeskunte 
capital receipt. Okay, then loan each in the recover chase kunte principal amount capital receipt. Okay, well, then loan each in a loan ki interest was tunte revenue receipt. Okay, so revenue receipts is estimated to be 22 lakh crores, capital receipts is estimated to be 79 lakh crores. So, like expenditure, total expenditure, we have to add revenue receipts and capital receipts so ee rendu add we will be getting 22 lakh crores but manaki expenditure ento 39 lakh crores double in 22 lakh crores mari migilin double ekkadi nunchi vaste government ki ante government borrows so, what is shortfall? Untundo, government borrows that money. And they borrow the money. Ki, next year, ninchi, government would be paying them interest. That is the last Revenue expenditure and capital expenditure. Lona. Answer coming. Jayindi. So, like we have discussed, capital expenditure, capital receipts are two types recovery of loan and other receipts including disinvestments disinvestment i'll explain it to you in few, few moments okay so expenditure mo 39 lakh crore undi it is not equal to receipts so shortfall edaithe ostundo aa amount anta loan ga teeskunte manaki expenditure value raavali 39 lakh crores okay so this is how Budget is balanced for receipts and expenditure. Like I said, receipts law types chapter and chapter. No? So, revenue receipts two types tax revenue, non tax revenue. Tax revenue, non tax revenue. Receipts law two types. Revenue receipts, capital receipts. So tax revenue types are corporate tax, income tax, GST, customs, union excise duties, service tax. So corporate tax means the tax which is paid on the profit that the MNCs get. What are income tax? Income tax is the tax paid by the individual on the income which he earns what is gst so gst is a goods and service tax that is levied at the point of manufacturing or at the point of sale say for example if i want to buy a water bottle i would be taxed a gst what does customs mean customs duty mean that when i import a particular product from another country or when i export a product from a particular i mean from india to another country then i would be charged a custom duty say for example if i buy an iphone from other country when it enters into india i would be taxed a particular amount similarly if i want to export a particular product i would be charged again at the point of exit from india so that is customs duty excise duties are those where the government levies on certain products during its manufacture, manufacturing service tax like gst service tax is another tax where the central government levies tax when any service is being delivered okay so we'll be also discussing the ty types of taxes in detail in the next class okay before we finish this class i would also discuss broadly what does non-tax revenue mean so what does non-tax revenue mean ante tax kakunda which are the other ways that the government is earning every year ante for example interest receipts like i said the government which has given loans previously to particular entity or a body when that body pays interest every year that is interest receipt why are we not calling it tax because the interest amount is not a tax government tax and 
it levies and a particular transaction in a particular point low when it levies and collects money that is tax second part is dividends and profits what is the meaning of dividends and profits is and a public sector unit like for example IOCL or BPCL okay so BPCL company has 100 shares for example as its capital and the ownership of BPCL is completely divided into 100 papers equally when these papers are sold to public or few entities the amount which the government gets that is called disinvestment okay 100 paper company ownership a ownership ni nenu 100 papers ga divide chestan a 100 papers lo konni unchukuntanu konni ammestan unchukunna vi kaakunda ammesin vevaithe untayo dan ninchi vache double disinvestment antam okay and every year when the company performs well the part of the company's profit will be shared with the shareholders. And these papers are all the way papers hold the chest and the profit is the part of the Okay? So say for example, if BPCL makes 1000 crores profit, 10 crores will be shared to shareholders. So government has the shareholding in the original 60%, 80%, 90% for example. E 10 crores lo 90% for example and 9 crores will be given to the government in the form of dividends. Migilina 10% shareholders ever aite unnaro, while kim 1 crore it will be divided equally. Equally in the sense in relation to the amount of shares they hold. Okay, in Koksa Japnano, shares are nothing but. Oka company ownership, for example, complete oka paper made rasi. A paper ni say, for example, 100 parts say chu, 1000 parts say chu, or my estimated number of parts na istam. So, if this particular papers are sold to individuals or banks or any entities, whoever gets this 1000 papers would be the complete owner of the company. So, every piece of paper is important. Okay, so since a paper is free, we have to pay money for it. When the government is having 100% of shares and a government owned company, if it feels that some part of the company should be managed by a private individual or some part of the company should be managed by private players, it can sell off a particular part of the company or particular part of shares which it is having with its own kitty. That part of shares can be sold off okay so dan in such in a profit separate if a company makes say for example 1000 crore profits e 1000 crore profit company coach up this company feels that nannu nammi inni rojulu e shareholder severate on a row will under nannu nammi invest share sir so like a gratitude out of 1000 crores say for example 10 crores will be given to shareholders okay so if i am having 10 percent of the shares I will be getting 1 crore. So, okay, well, government ki 60% holding unte, 6 crores amount dividend rupam lo government kostun. Similarly, the companies which earn profits that would be given to the government as well. So, non tax revenue lo interest receipts, dividends, and profits koste. Other than that, fees penalties which the government levies okay come under non tax revenue so tax revenue it ninchi kaade income tax ninchi 7 lakh crore corporate tax ninchi 7.2 lakh crore gst ninchi 7.8 lakh crore so we have discussed what dividend means and what profits means to the government we have also discussed the other forms of non-tax revenue that the government would be getting in the form of fees and penalties. Okay. So, revenue receipts, government ki, 
टू लैक्स सिक्सटी नाइन क्रोर्स एंड नाइनटीन लैख क्रोर्स द गवर्नमेंट इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम रेवेन्यू रिसिप्ट ओके थर्ड पार्ट अटे रेवेन्यू रिसीप्ट टू पार्ट मन की मेन पार्ट कैपिटल रिसीप्ट उन्यो डिस्वेस्ट लाइक ऐसे द मीनिंग आफ् डिस्वेस्ट इट इज वे द गवर्नमेंट से पार्ट आफ् इट षे टू पब्लिक अवट सैड और टू फ्यू एंटीटी वे दी शेर आर् सोल दि अमौंट विच द गवर्नमेंट गेट्स इज डिस्वेस्ट सो फॉर एग्जापल इपू एलसी विच इज गवर्नमेंट ओन कंपनी हंड्रेड पर्सेंट गवर्नमेंट ओन कंपनी द गवर्नमेंट हेज सैड दट इट वुड बी से पार्ट आफ् एलसी शेर टू द पब्लिक अंत फर् एग्जापल टेन पर्सेंट आफ् एलसी शेर एवते अवट आफ हड्रेड वित् द गवर्नमेंट टेन पर्सेंट पब्लिक इतार सो टेन पर्सेंट पब्लिक अम्मू दि मनी विच द गवर्नमेंट गेट्स इज कौंटेड अंडर डिस्वेस्ट सो इंदा कैपिटल रिसीप्ट वी हेव सैड डिस्वेस्ट loans which the government gets and also grants which the government gets so disinvestment is estimated to be around 65000 crores okay inka grants and other forms odileste total ga capital receipts excluding borrowings ante dan sontanga swataha ga techukunna dabbulu 79 lakh crores So when you add 19 lakh crores, 2.69 lakh crores, and 79,000 crores, the total would be around 22 lakh crores, 22.83 lakh crores. Like we have discussed, the expenditure is 39 lakh crores. So hence the shortfall between the receipts which the government gets and the expenditure it is expected to make. That amount is brought from borrowings so 39 lakh crore budget lo government edaithe spend cheyadam anukuntundo 16 lakh crores borrowings nunchi techukuntundi dabbulu okay only 22 lakh crores is approximately government is expected to earn from its own resources migilina 16 lakh crore anta kuda गवर्नमेंट बारो चुस्क ओके सो लाइक वि सैड बारोइंग सारी रिसीप्ट अंड एक्सपेचर विल बीक्वल सो मन की रिसीप्ट थर्टी नईन ऐक् क्रोर्स वो इकड़ एक्सपेचर को मुझे स्लैड थर्टी नईन ऐक् क्रोर्स वे सो द बजेट इज बड इन दिश पर्टिकुलर स्लैड फ्रम दिश पर्टिकुलर स्लैड क्वेश्चन लाइक ए टाइप आफ टैक्स नीचे हय्यस्ट हय्यस्ट अमौंट हय्यस्ट रिसीप्ट दट गवर्नमेंट वुड बी गेटिंग अड़कु लाइक फर् एग्जापल कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इनकम टैक्स जीएसटी अं कस्टम अवट आफ दिश फोर द मोस्ट दट द गवर्नमेंट गेट्स इट्स रेवेन्यू फ्रम ओके अलागे एक्सइज ड्यूटी सर्विस टैक्स एक्सेट्रा और दे कैन आलो आस्क अरे दिश रेवेन्यू सोर्स in ascending order or in descending order okay so ee amount edaithe undo ee amounts ni ascending order lo na lekapothe descending order lo ni arrange cheyachu they can also ask non tax revenue nunchi ekku vastunda tax revenue nunchi ekku vastunda whether ante statements lo for example the first statement can be like the government's revenue receipts are much much higher when compared to capital receipts statement to tax revenue is much much higher when compared to government's non tax revenue or question can be asked like arrange government's revenue in ascending order options would be tax revenue non tax revenue capital receipts okay so these kind of questions can be asked in this budget data okay so ivanni kuda budgeted for 2022 23 okay so like we have discussed in detail about receipts of the government now it's time to discuss the expenditure part of the government okay the expenditure part of the government 
so government like we have discussed before government has two kinds of expenditure one is revenue expenditure the other is capital expenditure so revenue expenditure law will be having establishment expenditure schemes on which it spends and other expenditure like loans interest repayment etc capital expenditure law when it gives grants to states when it gives loans to states those all comes under capital expenditure apart from assets investment okay so revenue expenditure is approximately 30 lakh crores like we have discussed before so final ga expenditure is 39 lakh crores okay so previous slide lo we have not discussed this particular point okay that is devolution to states that is devolution to states so what does this devolution to states mean and like i said before states also have their own budgets and the central government will also have their own budgets induku and i also asked a question i have also explained this question as well by saying that the state budgets will be announced at a particular point of time after the central government budget is announced the reason is a part of the central government's revenue is shared to the states so once when the states get their particular share the estimation of their particular share of revenue from the center the states starts their planning exercise and they will devise their expenditure approximately appropriately so tax revenue ninchi the government is getting 27 lakh crore approximately out of that a certain part 8 lakh crores out of it a certain part which is 8 lakh crore rupees is given to state so the center would be getting only 19 lakh crores only 19 lakh crores so now the question is who will decide as to how much money should be given to the states who will decide as to how much money that should be given to states the answer is finance commission so finance commission is a constitutional body which is mentioned under article 280 in the constitution so what does finance commission do is what are its functions is the finance commission will visit each state okay it would understand the problems of each state and then it decides how much money of tax revenue alone not non-tax or not capital receipts only tax revenue law matrame how much of the total amount should be given to states on a whole and is this 8 lakh 16,000 crore is shared equally among the states or is there any particular kind of allocation particular formula where this 8 lakh 16 crore is spent to states so for example the 15th finance commission has said that out of 100 percent tax revenue resources and a e value low 42 percent or 41 percent of states plus one percent to ladakh and jammu this center would be giving 42 percent of the total revenue earned should be given to states and for example if the central government is earning 19 lakh crores 42 percent of it so 42 percent of it it is which is 8 lakh crore would be given to states and if we assume that 8 lakh 16,000 crores is 42 percent 1 percent of it should be given to Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh okay 
formula ent what are the parameters for that formula that would be discussed in another class so government ki only central government is remaining only nine it is just having 19 lakh crores and not 27 lakh crores okay so i think even this slide is clear okay so finance commission apart from saying how much or what share of central government's tax revenue should be shared with state it also suggests the central government the amount that it should give in form of grant in aids the amount it should give under deficit grants okay and one more thing the finance commission suggestions are only recommendary in nature and they are not binding on the government say for example if the finance commission tomorrow says that out of the total revenue of the central government 50 percent with 50 percent of the tax revenue should be stayed with the states then the center can say no okay it might not go with finance commission suggestions Similarly, the grant in aids which are being proposed to states by the finance commission may not be accepted by the center. Similarly, the revenue deficit grants which are suggested or recommended by the finance commission may not be given to the particular states. So, the central government would give that part of grants or that part of deficits according to the money it has apart from grants and tax revenue share the finance commission is also interested with few other things which would be discussed again in finance commission classes okay so i think by now you have understood what exactly budget is i mean what exactly is expenditure what exactly is revenue for the government and what are the sources of revenue and what are the ways that the government spends okay so now it's time to discuss few other topics that is deficits so what is revenue deficit for the government see this is the table which i have which i have explained previously and this is the table which I have explained to you have seen in another slide. So what does revenue deficit mean? Revenue deficit mean revenue expenditure when the revenue receipts are deducted from revenue expenditure. The deficit which the government gets is revenue deficit. Say for example, when 31 lakh crores is deducted from 22 lakh crores, revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts will give you revenue deficit so it is around 9 lakh crores so what does revenue deficit mean revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts so 31 lakh crore minus 22 lakh crore it amounts to 9 lakh crore so revenue deficit means revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts this amount is denoted particularly in percentage of gdp okay so indian gdp say for example 300 lakh crore if it is 100 percent 3.8 percent ki value and thante e value raval example ke. if the gdp of india is 300 lakh crore so the deficits are expressed in percentage of gdp now what does fiscal deficit mean fiscal deficit means the amount of money which the government borrows ante 16 lakh crores amount edaithe undo apart from government's own resources of revenue receipts and capital receipts excluding borrowings entaithe value undo borrowings entaithe teeskuntamo that is the government's 
fiscal deficit so fiscal deficit is 16 lakh crores so direct ga borrowing ente ide teeskuntamo adi fiscal deficits we can also express this same formula for borrowings in terms of total revenue excluding borrowings minus total expenditure okay and even this is expressed in terms of percentage of gdp and the final thing is primary deficit what does primary deficit mean is it is the fiscal deficit minus the interest payments ante fiscal deficit is 16 lakh crores indi nunchi enta aithe government is spending only for interest payments ante under revenue expenditure that value when minused from fiscal deficit will give you the primary deficit and even this is expressed in terms of percentage of gdp so 16 lakh crores in 7 lakh crores this is the approximately government is spending 9 lakh crores every year only for interest repayments idi kaakunda government will be still making expenditure for repaying the principal amount that is a different expenditure only interest payments maatrame nearly 9 lakh crores unnai okay so fiscal deficit edaithe undo ee year ki 16 lakh crores last year ki 15 lakh crores example aa mundi year ki 13 lakh crores if we add up the whole fiscal deficits of all the years we would be getting total deficit of the government of the government so e deficits ke government is paying interest receipts some of it some of it might be paid already but fiscal deficits of every year when added gives you the total liability for the country so these are the three deficits that are explicitly stated in the budget so revenue deficit fiscal deficit primary deficit entaina undachcha are there any limitations for them that is the question now so when the budget is announced in that budget every year budget the state the central government or the finance minister introduces a particular strategy or particular document under frbm act which specifies the role of the central government to reduce its fiscal deficit and revenue deficit it gives a target for 3 years generally if the target is not met will the central government be penalized the answer is no if the fiscal deficit and the revenue deficit targets are not met the central government will not be penalized okay say for example if during the covid year when the government expenditure is much higher when compared to its earnings we obviously expect the revenue deficit should be higher the revenue deficit would be higher along with fiscal deficit so a particular years ki revenue deficit and fiscal deficit ekku untundi so target edaithe mundu years lo set chestunnaro if the targets are not met the finance minister is expected to give a reply in written form telling the parliament why it is not unable to meet those targets which are specified under frbm act and it also has to give the road map of how it will be meeting its target in the coming years so these are the three main deficits that are to be discussed from budget so questions can be asked like for budget 2022 23 
the revised fiscal deficit was percentage of GDP is how much percentage of GDP in financial year 22-22 as against in 6.8% in budget estimates. So these are the budget estimates. These are the budget estimates. So these are the revised estimates. So the answer is 6.8%. 9% Fiscal deficit in 2022-23 is estimated to be how much percentage of GDP? The answer is 6.4% So in similar way, this table in they can ask you questions like budgeted Prakaranga 2022-23 low, what is revenue deficit? What is fiscal deficit? Alage revised estimates low, what is revenue deficit and what is physical deficit? How much is the revenue deficit and how much is the fiscal revenue deficit? So these two particular years key miru if six numbers kutupet kodam important. Okay. So, this particular topic, to manam, we have discussed the three types of deficits. We have discussed receipts. We have discussed expenditure. Deficits, etc. Okay. So, with this, we are ending this particular topic. Thank you.